हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो विल बी सींग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड विल ऑल्सो think about what is the right size of the capsular axis which is needed for the phaco emulsification surgery so this is the case 65 year old uh, uncontrolled diabetic patient and uh, there is a mature and swollen cataractus lens as you can see i am going to use hyaluronate which is 4% chondrite and 3% hyaluronate to flatten the anterior capsule and uh, i don't expect any liquefied cortex here so i am going to make the cruciate puncture in the center and then continue with the uh, micro capsular axis forceps uh, which is my instrument of choice for doing uh, capsular axis in such cases uh, so the idea was to have a capsular axis which is complete avoiding extension and as i completed it i just uh, thought for a couple of moments that whether i need to enlarge this so mentally i just made a note uh, what could be the size of the axis here and uh, it was around 4.6 to 5 mm uh, in size which was probably little smaller than i wanted but i have done similar cases previously with uh, slightly smaller capsular axis size and i thought that uh, it should not be a problem in this case as well so i started off uh, with the central crater and then chop so here the being a diabetic patient the uh, cataract is little leathery and i am having difficulty in cracking the posterior plate here and uh, i try to divide the nucleus piece till the posterior plate and while doing that uh, i am trying to stretch it apart and as i also didn't notice you i am sure that you must not have noticed what went wrong just a few seconds back but when we'll replay it you'll come to know that there was something wrong here and then i realized that the nucleus was probably tilting and i stopped the surgery so we'll see it again what exactly happened I just watch that uh, when i'm separating these pieces i'm using slightly smaller than what i feel i should use and there is a capsular axis which is torn now you can see there and i was stretching the anterior capsule a little bit too much because i was stretching the anterior part of the nucleus rather than the posterior part of the crack and the ccc was stretched the nucleus also was stretched a bit too much and that gave rise to the tear of the anterior capsular axis margin and you can watch again i am holding the anterior edge of the nucleus piece i should have gone little posteriorly used a longer chopper and that might have avoided uh, this complication and of course the smaller size of capsular axis it's brittle also in diabetic that might have led to this uh, tear and now how did i suspect the posterior capsular dehiscence that's why i stopped rather than proceeding uh in the surgery and uh, for that i will just uh, replay the video again and you will find that uh, as i continued with the anterior capsular tear here to further divide the nucleus and i tried to rotate the nucleus here you will find that uh, when it uh, rotates it also tilts to the left side and then when i try to rotate it further i can see the pole of the nucleus and uh, usually you don't see it unless there is a small or shrunken nucleus or there is a posterior capsular dehiscence as i expected or suspected in this particular case so that's a sign that nucleus is probably tilting So what is the ideal size of CCC for beginners i would say at least 5.5 mm in all cases this prevents many complications like dialysis cc tear etc 
for brown black or swollen lens at least 5.5 millimeter as shown in the video to avoid ccc tearing during stretching of the nucleus pieces for regular nucleus i think 5 to 5.5 mm is good enough for good overlap of IL optic and for posterior cap polar cataract uh, i would uh, recommend a slightly smaller capsule exit 4.5 to 4.8 so that in case of posterior capsular tear a good optic capture can be achieved if needed and for eyes like uh, high myopia retinitis pigmentosa post uvit cataract or pediatric cataract it's better to have a larger size rexis around 5.5 millimeter this is because these eyes have a tendency of ventricular phimosis so making a larger rexis of 5.5 mm reduces those complications i am sure you have learned a lot from this video for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel write your comments and suggestion and do visit our website fecotraining.org.in thank you